when to give in. So this doesn't apply to all cases because there's different considerations, but one aspect is that it's good to give in when people fully respect you or close to fully, and I'll explain why. People that never give in, they don't build any trust, they don't build any cooperation. Like Patrick Ben David, he famously said, you have to keep the bad people out, but you have to let the good people in. So most people go to one of the opposite extremes. Either they shut everybody out because they're paranoid that people are going to hurt them, and so they just do everything themselves, and they're kind of like micromanagers. These are people that work like, you know, three hours, I mean, three three different jobs, um, just so they can keep their spouse at home, you know, basically into lock and key and, and make sure that the part, everyone's financially dependent upon them. They don't trust other people. They don't empower other people. So those people don't really get the best out of other people. Like the saying says, you can only keep someone in a ditch uh, if you stay in the ditch yourself. Other people, they're kind of too trusting. They're too people-pleasing. We do, lo- we do live in a world of, um, I'm not sure what that word is. I was going to say power, but that's not the right word. Um, you know, we live in a world where the cream does rise to the top, like the people that are the most competent, the most skilled. Uh, you know, not always because there's good luck and bad luck, but all things being equal. So you can't just like willy-nilly give, uh, you know, empowerment to everybody that hasn't earned it because then people will take advantage. There's an aspect of human nature that can be lazy and take advantage uh, in major ways. So the time to give in is when people respect you and you have a sense that they're not going to take advantage of it. And when, they, when they've earned it, you know, and when, you know, you realize that they are competent, you can't think that you're the only competent one and that other people don't know what they're doing. I mean, some people are arrogant. You have to respect the competence and the uh, uh, skills of competent people. There's a lot of really competent people out there. There's a lot of really incompetent people also. And you know, it's a whole spectrum. So, you know, don't, don't over-control and try to do everything yourself, but don't just give away your power willy-nilly so that you have no power yourself.